Hello and welcome back to Joe English, the channel that helps Italian people learn and communicate well in English. As you can see, I am speaking only English. This is episode number two. So in this episode, to help you improve your listening skills, I am going to talk about a topic that lots of people ask me about. They want to know the difference between living in Italy and England. So, I have chosen five topics to talk about to explain the difference between Italy and England. Let me know if you agree in the comments and also I will be writing some questions in the description of the video for you to answer. Okay, and you must answer in the comments. Let's go! So, the first topic is driving and parking. For me, this topic is, is very funny because I think Italians and English people drive and park completely differently. English people like to follow the rules and if there is not a parking space, they will not park. Whereas in Italy, Italian people, it's fantastic, I like it. Italian people will try to park as close to where they are going as possible. If that means parking on a zebra crossing or on the pavement, no problem. It's fantastic. I like this. I prefer it. In fact, when I go back to England now, my wife shouts at me. She says, remember, we are in England. We are not in Italy because I park where I want. I want to go to the shop, I go on the pavement, I turn the car off and I go. And I must remember, I'm in England, I must follow the rules. It is the same for driving. When I moved to Italy, I didn't drive for six months. I said, no way, no way, I am not driving in Italy. Italian drivers are crazy. But it's not true. I think Italian drivers are better than English drivers. In England, when you are coming to a big roundabout and you have the lanes that you must stay in, if you do not choose the correct lane at the right time, there are big problems. People are beeping you and it's not good. In Italy, well, not a problem. That's what I love about driving in Italy. If you make a mistake, no one cares. You stop, you turn, you carry on. I love it. The second topic is queuing. Okay, now this topic, um, it needed some time to get used to. In England, I am used to standing in a queue and waiting my turn. In Italy, it doesn't always happen. So that is something that at the beginning, when I first moved here, I got very angry. But now I just relax. That is how it is. It's not a big problem. So I just continue as I do. But I do prefer queuing. The third topic is timekeeping. Again, this is a big one for foreign people to get used to. For example, in England, if you say the meeting is at one o'clock, English people arrive five minutes to one o'clock. In Italy, people arrive around one o'clock. Could be one o'clock, could be ten past, quarter past. And it's, here it's not a problem. Now I, now I understand that, but at the beginning, I would get very angry when people were not on time. But maybe that's English people being too fixed. 
In fact, when I teach lessons, and all my students will agree with me, when we have a break, I say, OK, we'll have a 15-minute break, but English minutes, not Italian minutes, because 15 Italian minutes could be half an hour. The fourth big difference between Italy and England, I think, is fashion. By that, I mean, in, in Italy, if you go out, even to the supermarket or the shopping centre, people dress up perfectly. And I think that's very good. Whereas in England, we're not that bothered. We don't see it as that important. If we are going to the shops, we just put on anything we have and a coat and we go. Whereas in Italy, it's much more, when you go in public, it's much more important and you need to be dressed properly. And I think that's a very, very good thing. In fact, in England, it's quite embarrassing because some people take their children to school in pyjamas. I know, it's ridiculous. I cannot believe it, but it's the truth. And then this leads on to the fifth, Difference. Sunday evening. In England, if you go out on a Sunday evening, the streets are dead. Completely dead. There is nobody. Often the pubs may have a few people in, but everything else, nothing. Here in Italy, Sunday evening is a very big social occasion. Everybody goes out dressed up perfectly, going to the shopping centre, going to the bar, to a pub, to a restaurant, to have an aperitivo. Now, again, when I first came to Italy, I thought, what are Italians doing? It is Sunday. Stay at home. But now, I'm the opposite. I like to go out on a Sunday. I think it's fantastic. So basically, these are five big differences between living in England and living in Italy. So again, if you are an Italian living in England, let me know if you agree. Write in the comments. And also, like I said, I have written some questions in the description and I would like you to try to answer them. Again, write your answers in the comments. Thank you very much, and I will see you soon.